Hello everyone, my name is Sumit Goyal and I welcome all of you to BISP Self Learning Video Broadcast Solutions. Today I am going to talk about how to configure Mobile Express and Dynamic CRM. As you know that nowadays more and more people they are using mobile phones and they would like that they can get the data on their mobile phones while they are on a move. They don't want to sit at one place and they don't want to access the data from their laptops or from their desktop. So that's why the Mobile Express is very popular in Dynamic CRM. So basically Mobile Express is designed to allow user to work with the CRM data on their multimedia cell phones, iPads or virtually any other web enabled devices. Now what's the purpose of using Mobile Express? That with the help of Mobile Express we can manage CRM records and the best thing is that Mobile Express works with most of the browsers. It's a light application and it, it can easily be configured and allow user to turn individual entities on and off. With the help of Mobile Express, we can add or remove fields and also we can make fields read only. Mobile Express is a very helpful feature in quickly finding and updating records. Still there are some limitations like with the, uh, in Mobile Express we can only read activities. In Mobile Express the JavaScript cannot be enabled means if, they, if you have enabled the JavaScript on any entity on any form of an entity that will not be enabled on Mobile Express. So let's see how to turn Mobile Express onto an entity in Dynamic CRM. So for this let's switch to our dynamic CRM. So this is the dynamic CRM interface. I have already logged in successfully onto my dynamic CRM. Then I clicked on the dynamic CRM logo at the top left corner. From here I will move to settings and from settings I will select the customization. After click on customization I will click on the customize the system. So I click on customize the system. So once you clicked on customize the system, it will open an interface like this and now in this interface we have got the components like entities, option set, web resources, processes, dashboards, reports. So I would like to configure the mobile express on an entity. So I clicked on entity and from in this entity I clicked on account entity. So when I clicked on account entity, the properties of this account entity will open on the right side and in that prop in those in this property we will be going to configure the mobile outlook and mobile so by default it is you have to make sure that it will be checked if it is not checked so please check it click on save and then click on publish so once it is published then again go to settings in settings go to security in security, click on security roles, security roles. In this security role, like we have to configure the security role and we have to enable the mobile option for that particular security role also. So if you want that all the users who belong, uh, that any user who belongs to any of this role, they can also access the application from uh, dynamic CRM application from a mobile express on their phone or on their web enabled devices so you have to set the properties for all the roles available within this organization so let's say I'm going to do the settings for sales manager so I click on sales manager and in sales manager I click on business management and make sure that the CRM for phone is selected. If it is not selected, you have to select it. You have to check it. And then click on save and close. So once it is done, again we need to go to customization, setting and customization because we need to add a field onto the form. So again I click on customize the system and again I select the account entity entities, accounts and here I check the click on the forms. 
so by default the mobile form will not enable with any entity so we have to add the mobile form as I have did over here so how to add a mobile form over here simply click on new and you can select you can add a mobile form over here so once it is done click on the mobile form and in mobile form make sure to add a relationship field so this relationship type field you can get this field you can select the field from here and then click click on add so this field will be add over here so I have placed this relationship type field after the status if you want to change the position of this relationship type field select this and then you can move it up or move it down along with that if you want to make any field read only or if you want to set any field read only let's say I would like to set the main phone as a read only or email as a read only email is already read only over here see this I have uh, undo the changes now I would like to set the email as a read only so I click on email and make it read only and then click on save and close save and close so once it is saved the changes has been done settings has been done simply click on publish all customization so once you click on publish all customization changes will be done now what you need to do is you need to copy the URL now we need to test that how this application look like if we access the same application on a mobile phone so for testing the same I copy this and I paste it over here and I remove the last syntax and in place of that I simply add an M M stands for mobile so once you place it you will be able to access the screen which you will get on your mobile phone if you open your mobile phone browser and enter the same URL you will get the same interface from here we have got accounts all the entities are here we can click on account entity and from in this we can get all the available accounts if I would like to add a new account I can simply click on new and add a new account from here if you want to delete any account we can open that account and we can delete that account from here or we can edit the account from here if you want to go back to the home interface simply click on this icon and it will take you to back it will take back you to the home screen from here I clicked on accounts and if I would like to show I would like to see inactive accounts means I would like to do some I would like to change my view so I click on this and I will be able to get all the views as we can get in the CRM organization screen on the uh, like on this normal screen right so it's a phone screen and it's a normal screen so this is how we can work on a CRM on a mobile phone and along with that if I would like to search any record if I would, if I would like to search any account so there is a search option also available so I clicked on this search and I can enter the account name and click on search option I will it will provide us all the uh, the search accounts over here we can click on the account and we will get the further details of the uh, that particular account so this is how we can customize we can do the customization we can configure any other application for a mobile express that's all in this video if you have any issues or if you have any questions, you can visit our website www.bisptrainings.com. For more interactive videos on CRM, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. I will be coming up with some new videos, with some new interesting topics on Dynamic CRM. Till then, have a nice day ahead. Goodbye.